Hey guys, Old Bess here, just bringing you guys another World of Warcraft gold farming guide. So today we are going to be doing a gold per hour video, and I really like this spot. This is a Pandaria steady gold farming spot, which is always really nice. But what's nice with this one is you have a chance at getting some really unique, some really expensive troll-based weapons. So these sell for a good chunk of gold. So that's what I love about this spot is... It's great. It's a great steady gold farming spot. And on top of that, you have a chance at getting some of these weapons that can sell for a huge amount of gold. All right, so where are we going? So the location is in the Isle of Thunder. And how you get to the Isle is you either can take the portal, and it's here on the map, or if you haven't done the quest line yet, just talk to the NPC in the tent, and you will fly over there, and you'll be able to go back using the portal next time. All right, so for this spot, we're gonna be killing these animated guys here. Uh, this is the location on the map. It's actually a really big area, which is really nice. The mobs respond really quickly, which is nice as well. The one bad thing is you're gonna be doing a lot of running around, and also your mounts are unable to fly in the Isle of Thunder, so that kind of sucks. <laughs> also, I wanted to mention that if this spot, when you go try it, there's a lot of people there. Another place that you can farm uh, for a chance of getting some of these really nice, unique troll weapons are these raptors here. What's really nice with the raptors is their respawn time is tied together. So as you kill some, the others respawn. So you can just basically just keep killing these things. Also, if you have skinning, this is a great spot to get exotic leather. Today, though, I'm going to be focusing on this other spot, the animated guys. We're going to be killing these guys. I would recommend this one over the raptors unless it's really busy. For this farm, you're going to be wanting to have potions of luck. You can buy these from the auction house or have an alchemist make these for you. I'd recommend getting server hop so that way you can switch servers if you have competition. I'd also recommend getting the undermine journal add-on or trade skill master add-on. That way when you loot some of these weapons and some of these armor pieces, you will know what they are worth. Uh, the armor can go for a few hundred gold. It has a troll or dinosaur theme. I personally am just going to be vendoring those. My focus is going to be on the 17 unique troll weapons that only drop in the Isle of Thunder. All right, so just real quickly, I'm going to go through the 17 weapons. So that way you know which weapons you're looking for as you do this gold farming spot. So these have a 0.04% chance of dropping. So it is fairly low, but you're gonna be killing a lot of mobs. So you should be seeing these every once in a while. The prices are the current US and European prices. So this is right in the middle. Half you guys will be below this price. Half you guys will be above this price. So first we have the Restrung Voodoo Bow for 10,000 gold. Next, the Sar Jaw Dagger for 7k gold. Next, the Chiseled Fangs for 6k gold. The Ritual Head Cleaver for 6k. The Weighted Stone Axe for 4.5k. The Corroded Hacker for 4.5k. The Hex Belcher Rifle, 4k. Defective Soul Gem Staff, 4k. Hex Caster Gavel 4k, Thunder Eagle Staff 3.5k, Zandalari Head Cleaver 3.5k, Discarded Strike Blade 3.5k, Dull Hawk Talons 3k, Stubby Talon Blade 3k, Sky Shaper Staff 3k, Rustic Voodoo Wand 2.5k, and the Singer Spellblade 2.5k. So those are all the weapons. You can tell they have a unique look. Also with Legion coming out just around the corner we're going to be having the new wardrobe feature that's going to be introduced. So in my opinion this is going to really help boost these items when it comes to trying to sell these things because just a heads up with this stuff transmog can take a long time to sell. If you guys get any of these weapons, some of you might throw it on the auction house and within 12 hours it sells, but in general you're going to have to probably repost it multiple times 
That is normal, just so you guys know, but these are unique, so they will be sought after, especially when the wardrobe feature is introduced. All right, so I wanna go over my results for my hour farming session. All right, so I used three potions of luck, and those cost me 50 gold each, so that's minus 150 gold. I looted 79 plundered treasures from the three potions of luck. I got 556 raw gold from opening up the treasures and also just looting the mobs. I got 125 gold from vendoring the grazing and trash. I got 521 gold from vendoring 33 greens. Again with those, uh, some of the armor pieces I could have sold in the auction house. I just personally vendored them. You can decide. You can check your auction house to see if you want to sell those. I got two ghost iron lock boxes. After opening those, that was 111 gold. I got 868 wind wool cloth, priced at 85 silver each, so that is 738 gold. I got 44 exotic leather at 82 silver each, so that is 36 gold. So also with the windmill cloth and exotic leather, I'm converting that into just raw vendor gold. I'm gonna have a link to another video that you can check out where I explain how to do this. If you have not seen that video, I'd highly recommend checking out that video. I go over a lot of other good tips in that video as well. So altogether, after subtracting the potion of luck, I made 1,937 raw gold in a single hour. So that is really nice. No auction house involved. All right, so for the rest of it, we have the black trillium ore. We got 44 of that at 11 gold each, so that is 484 gold. We got 38 white trillium ore at 11 gold each, so that is 418 gold. We got 59 ghost iron ore at three gold each, so that is 177 gold and then I got 9.6 spirits of harmony at 70 gold each so that is 672 gold so altogether that is 3688 gold per hour so also with those prices those are just the average prices on US and European realms right now that is not on my server actually my server a lot of these things go for more, but we're using the average. I also got lucky and I got the defective soul gem staff. So those sell for 4k on average. On my server right now, they go for over 5,000, but I'm going to try to sell it for 3.5k just because I want it to sell it faster. <laughs> so, so anyways, at 3.5k, that puts me at 7,188 gold in an hour. So you can see if you get some of these uh, weapons, you can actually make quite a bit of gold. I really like this bot because it's great. It's a steady gold farming spot with a chance at getting some of these really cool weapons. So anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you did and we'll see you guys again soon.